Hey guys, it's Tyler. Today I will be showing you how to get TikTok live data such as chat, GIFs, likes, follows, and more. The library I'm using is a fairly new library, but works very well. The link to the GitHub will be in the description for more documentation and other information. The first thing you want to do is install the library with pip. So go to your terminal and type pip install tick tock live as shown and right here and I already have it installed so it should be good and also make sure that all your other Python libraries are updated because the first time I installed this it had some errors and after that is installed go to your uh, your Python file and install the or import these libraries from tick tock live import tick tock live client and from tick Live dot types dot events import so everything that you're importing right here are events you'll be using those for the client the the client events so whenever you get a comment in a TikTok chat it will fire that event and whatever you have in that event it'll do. So doing comment event is an event that will fire whenever you comment, whenever someone comments in your chat. Um, all of this is uh, shown an example on the GitHub. <coughs> so I'm just gonna paste all the f all the events that I use. So comment is whenever you comment, when so, whenever someone comments, whenever someone connects, whenever someone sends a gift to the uh, live, whenever someone shares the live, likes the live, follows the creator, and it, this is an update of the viewer count. To get that client, to connect the client, you have this. So it connects the, uh, this class to the client, and then you can have your ID where you're connect, like whichever stream you're connecting to, whichever TikTok Live you're connecting to, it's right here. So you can type in whichever live, like their username, and it will connect to it if they're live. Otherwise, it'll show that there's an error that they're not live and they can the connection cannot connect. Let's just put Tyler there, for example. I, I'm i not live, so. um, Now, to show when you connected to the live, this event is fired whenever you connect to the live. On connect, and anything under this function will do it whenever you connect, which is only once at the beginning. So it'll show which room ID you're in, and that one's not very exciting. The next one is shows when a comment happens. So client on comment. Every time someone comments, it will show the event dot user. So event dot user dot unique ID. This shows their ID slash name, I guess. So it shows their user name, or you could do username like this. No. Which one was it? Nickname. Yeah. You can have nickname, which will show the nickname of their TikTok account. And then this one, unique ID, shows their actual, like, TikTok user ID, I guess. I don't, I don't know the difference. And event.comment shows the actual comment, the chat that they sent. <coughs> 
The next one is gifts. So I had to do some searching around through the library to figure this one out, but um, on gift, whenever someone sends a gift, the first thing I had was event.user.uniqueID, which shows their username again. And then it shows the ID of the gift. So this shows a number, not the name of the gift. So I went searching through uh, some more information, which you have to enable this. It says enable extended gift info. And enabling this gives you more info about the gifts and stuff. So I use this info which enables me to use client.available gifts which shows up a bunch of uh, like a big dictionary of more dictionaries about the gifts so it I just gave it the uh, gift info <coughs> ID it, I got the ID for the gift and matched it with whichever one was in the dictionary and then I, with that, I got the gift info name, gift, uh, gift info image. I got the image of it, the first in the list, and how much diamonds that costed. There's more. You just have to do a little searching. There's also a Discord if you ever need help with it. There's a Discord for the uh, GitHub. Okay. So, cl client on like okay so this fires whenever there's a like sent so event.user.unique ID this will show whichever person liked the stream and then the amount of likes they sent so it won't like spam you with all of the likes that they sent it'll just do like if they sent 15 likes it'll show you that they sent 15 likes instead of doing like 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 all in one time it'll do it in a big group and then I'll show you the total like amount and yeah so yeah event total like count show you the total amount of likes on the stream okay next is whenever someone follows you or the streamer so at client on follow will fire whenever someone follows you and I'll show you event dot user dot unique ID which is the username has followed the streamer so now share whenever someone shares this oh whenever someone shares the stream this is what fires so it'll print someone the, the the username has shared the streamer and yeah that's like whenever you copy link or share it to whoever so the next one is shows the available view count so this will update probably like every couple of seconds and it will show the live view count so it'll do received a new viewer count and then it'll do event dot viewer count I don't know if there's any other event dot name here's viewer account but nothing interesting and to finally run this whole script you'll need this to fire the whole client so you do client dot run so it'll use all of these functions. It'll listen to all of these. So every time a connect happens, which is only once, a comment, a gift, a like, a follow, a share, every time. So yeah. So now I will test it on a live streamer. All right, for the streamer we're going to use as an example, is Drew B Blue, which is a Wordle streamer. So, okay. So you make sure that you enter Drew B Blue, his username, or the streamer's username that you're going to input, into the unique ID up on line five, on my line five. And 
you run it. Make sure that your file name isn't the same as the library name because I had that earlier and it messed me up. But here we go. We have Preston Holstein has liked the stream one time and there's a total of 12,479 likes on the stream. There is, oh, we received a new viewer count, which is 317, which the browser doesn't seem to be very updated all the time, but we have 329, 327, oh, it's kind of close, almost. Um, and it shows people saying trial right here, there's trial same person um, let's see yeah that there's no like any gift information yet I don't think anybody's gifted the stream but let's see if we can get that see someone gifting oh yep there we go as you can see there was a gift for a rose <laughs> and now there is right here it shows they donated okay so at first it says US military sent a and then this is the ID of the gift and that is where I go into the library and search for the matching rose image it shows all the information so there's the rose image so if I could pull that up, wait, no, oh, there's the rose image, the image of the gift, um, the diamond amount, which is one, and the name, obviously, rose. And, yeah, I mean, I think if I shared the stream, then it would show, okay, here, copy link, I shared it, technically. Well, let's see if it, oh, there it is, Tyler Do Things, which is my TikTok name. Tyler Do Things shared the streamer. So it works. So that's it. If you guys like the video, like the video. And if you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Uh, that is it. There's a random error for some reason. But yeah, see you guys next time.